Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. We're going to talk about the Battle of Basra, located in Basra, southern Iraq, and involving elements of the United Kingdom, India, and the Ottoman Empire on November 11th to the 22nd, 1914. India and British HQ itself had worked together and had already sent General Sir Arthur Barrett with more than 5,000 Indian troops as part of the Indian Expeditionary Force D to the Middle East. As seems to be tradition in modern day, they were sent to the Persian Gulf with the intention to defend the oil fields and pipelines. While the British HQ in London was more in favor of defending the oil fields, the Indian government had added an additional instruction to General Barrett, ordering Barrett to attack the Turkish port of Basra if the United Kingdom and the Turkish Ottoman Empire went to war. Barrett wasted no time on November 5th when the UK went to war with the Turkish Ottoman Empire. On November 6th, 600 UK troops overran the Turkish coastal batteries at Fao before moving up the river to Basra itself. When the troops reached the Abadan pipeline, the British force pushed out the Turkish locals and secured the camp. On the dawn of November 11th, 400 Ottoman Turks attacked the camp in an unsuccessful bid to stop the British invasion. Even with victory, though, Barrett realized how precarious his position was, and three days later, 7,000 more Indian troops had arrived, along with light artillery. Meanwhile, other Turkish soldiers had prepared a defense at Sehen in order to help organize and prepare for the 4,500 Turkish soldiers that had been gathering there. Barrett realized he couldn't wait and pushed forward in the Turkish forces with two brigades of British and Indian infantry. They were aware of the mud-walled fort the Turks were using, but decided to attack anyways. What Barrett had not anticipated was the horrible weather, including heavy rainfall that churned the ground into mud pits. On top of this, heat mirages were added as another factor. The British struggled until they were able to bring forward their 18-pound artillery and use it to devastate the defending positions. Unfortunately for the British, the scattering Turkish soldiers couldn't be followed easily due to the heat mirages in the area, and the mud slowed down the British cavalry as well. The Turkish High Command must have realized the danger they were in, because the British found out shortly that the Turkish army had completely abandoned Basra to the British as the 104th Wellesley Rifles and 117th Maharadas landed in Basra and took control. British casualties overall were about 500 men killed, wounded, captured, or missing, while the Ottoman Turks lost more than 1,300 troops. The one negative aspect of the win was that India now believed all Turkish defenses were brittle and could easily be broken. This would not be how it was in reality, and the British troops would pay eventually for that misunderstanding. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.